So you may have had a barking dog on your flight. Especially when the engine starts. Now it's not really a doge like that. It's called a PTU. It's a power transfer unit and it works on the hydraulic system. Hydraulic normal pressure is at 3000 PSI. If the PTU senses a drop of 500 PSI on one side, it will come to life. It's a pump powered by the green or the yellow hydraulic systems to power one of the other systems. It can't transfer the fluid, but it will give you pressure to run the hydraulic systems. The PTU is inhibited on the first engine start and then it does a self-test on the second start and that's the noise you're hearing. So the next one is your flaps. They're on the wings. You get flaps out the back and slats out the front. driven by the hydraulic systems. On the A320, the green system powers the flaps and the slats. The blue just does the slats and the yellow just does the flaps. Three hydraulic systems on the, on the 320, green, blue, and yellow. The next noise you may well hear, especially if you're walking out to the aircraft, is a loud, high-pitched whining noise. It's not the pilots, but it's the brake fans. You switch them on in the flight deck, or if you're taxing and the brake temperature is over 100 degrees, there's big fans in the wheels next to the carbon brakes on the Airbus, and they blow cold air to cool them down. So next is your landing gear. You'll hear lots of clunking as the sequent valves operate, gear doors open and close, up locks and move, powered by the green hydraulic system on the A320. The next noise you'll hear is the thrust reduction. At around 800 or 1,000 feet, the aircraft will enter what's called the acceleration phase. The nose is pitched down to around 10 degrees from the 17 and a half it would be after takeoff, and the thrust is reduced. This is done by moving the thrust levers into what's called the climb gate on the Airbus and pressing the climb thrust and flight level change button on the 757. It's done automatically on the 737. You may hear a change in the engine note. Sometimes it doesn't change at all. It depends on the power settings. But on the bus, it's a good idea to move the levers nice and slowly as the change of note is less apparent and less worrying for nervous passengers. Cabin pings. So you'll hear various pings from the interphone system in the cabin. Some will be passenger call bells. Some will be calls on the interphone system from the flight deck to the cabin or within the cabin itself from the front to the back. So as you're coming into land, you may hear a funny noise from the cockpit if you're sitting forward enough. It will be the autopilot disconnect alarm. So you have different sounds for it. The Airbus one sounds like this. The 737 one sounds like this. And the 7571 sounds like this. When you hear this sound, you will know that the pilot is now flying the aircraft manually and not the autopilot. So that's it. You're now fully clued up on all the sounds that you're going to hear when you go on your holidays. And we'll see you on the next Pilot Explains very soon.